like it and if you do give me a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel and we want to get right into it <laughs> we're gonna start off by setting our eyes with the hazelnut Maybelline fit me concealer and then I'm gonna set it with the airspun translucent powder setting our eyes gives us a smooth canvas and brings out the best pigment in every shadow Using the lightest shade out of my e.l.f. blush palette, I'm going to use that as my transition shade and I'm going to brush that all over my crease and all over my eye, basically using my BH12 brush. Going into my Beauty Treats 88 palette, I'm getting a darker pink and I'm just darkening my crease and also blending it into the transition shade. Going into these two lavender purples, I'm going to put this into my crease and I'm going to extend it out, blending it kind of past my eyebrow area because I want it to be a cut crease so we need extra shadow on the side. While blending, I use circular motions and windshield wiper motions because that gives me the best blend. Going into this royal blue, I'm going to get a smaller brush and put this right in my crease, only focusing on the crease. Now taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in this small flat top brush, I'm cutting my crease. And you wanna make sure when you cut your crease, it's above your actual crease because you don't want your shadow or the concealer to mess up your like above shadow. Once my crease is cut, I'm going into a darker pink and I'm just going to place that at the top part of the crease as you can see me doing. Um, I was trying to create a line following the cut crease and then you'll see I'll cut the crease again. So now that I have my pink line, I'm cutting the crease again. I want the line to be thick. Thick enough that you can see it, but not too thick, so that's why I'm cutting it. Going back into this royal blue shadow, I'm going to pat it onto the front part of my eyelid. I'm going to take the lavender shade and I'm going to pat it right next to it and I'm going to do a pattern blue purple blue purple when patting on the shadow you might have to pat it multiple times to get a really good pigment you can't just do it once or twice and expect the pigment to show going back into the pink shade I'm just going to clean up my pink line
Now for the fun part, because I love planning glitter, I'm using the NYX glitter primer and some blue glitter. And for all the blue parts, I'm putting blue glitter. And for all the pink parts, I'm putting, I mean purple parts, I'm putting purple glitter. And I'm not doing it in like a neat way. I'm just kind of doing whatever I want. Like on the other eye, I finished off with the blue glitter. On this eye, I think I'm going to finish off with the purple glitter. And I'm just kind of being creative and doing whatever I want. And I feel like that's what makeup is. Being creative, doing what you want, and having fun with it. So that's what I'm doing right now. You can do whatever you want with your look. If you plan on recreating this look, make sure you tag me in your pictures and videos. Because I want to see. And don't be stingy with your pictures. Let me see. Anyway, using my Liquid Elf liner, I'm going to do a wing, and this wing comes out looking kind of thick, but you'll see I'll fix it at the end. And I'm also doing a cat eye just because I need to practice doing that a little bit more, and it actually came out really nice in this look, so I plan on doing it in my other look. I think I'm going to do more natural looks, but we'll, you know, save that for another video. <laughs> So I showed this part of me putting on my mascara, but I didn't show you guys putting on um, my lashes just because I have to be way too close to the mirror in order to get my lashes on perfect. Going back into the pink shade again, I'm going to clean up that um, pink line and then I'm going to clean up my wing liner going into my ruby kiss all over glow in bronze glow. I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Now our eyes are done and they're fleeky and they're popping. So if you only want to see the eye look, I would say stop here. If you want to see the rest, keep now on watching. Now that we're done with the eyes, we're about to get into this face. And I already put on my primer and my foundation. So this is what it looks. I use Fit Me Foundation in Deep Golden. And I use the Baby Skin Primer as always. And now I'm gonna do this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, but I got a different shade in this palette. Um, it is Hazelnut, and it's shade 55, Cop Distro. I love this color. It's more of a, let's say, it's like a bronze undertone. Like it's not ashy, it would be like that glow. Like the cafe is kind of ashy, but this one would be that glow. I'm going to use this to clean up my wing. Using my disposable um, spongy thingy, I'm just gonna blend this all together. Like, look at this. Shut popping. I kind of like messed up my, my cat eye, so I'm just gonna fix it. So now I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Fit Me Sweat Free Powder and I'm going to set all the spots. I'm gonna set all the spots that I concealed, basically. Now that our face is set, we're gonna go in with our Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I'm just gonna do powder today. I usually do cream and powder, but I'm just gonna do powder. And I'm going to go into the darkest shade. And I'm gonna lightly brush this one. 
my contour area. You've been sucking your cheeks to see it, but I like know where it's at, so I don't really need to do that. And you want to brush it in like circular motions because you don't want your contour to just be a blunt straight line. See that? Come on now, come on now. And then we're gonna like kinda condom my nose, but not really, cause I don't really condom my nose. Taking another brush, I'm gonna go into the sculpting shade, and I'm just gonna dust this powder off. to my elf blush I'm gonna go to the darkest one it's my favorite and I'm gonna blend this What? I will put a naked body. I dead ass tried it. Like, I know I should have taken my ass to the grocery store before coming home at 6 o'clock this morning. For our lip combo today, I'm going to use my brown lip liner first. And then I'm going to go in with this purplish, pinkish lipstick see this is a little too much I'm gonna put more lip liner on and I'm gonna add gloss this is the shine shop gloss from Maybelline I'm gonna finish up the eyes. Um, I should did lips last, but I decided to do it anyway because I just felt like doing it. I'm gonna go into purple. This purple. This purple right here and this one too. Then I'm going into that same blue and put that under my eye also. And I'm gonna go into Metalhead from my, what's this called, Urban Decay Heavy Metals Palette. And I'm going to put this right in front. I'm gonna take my blue eyeliner and I'm gonna line my water that is the end of the look i hope you guys liked it make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thumbs up this video and comment below any looks or videos that you would like to see thank you for watching this video and if you haven't seen my hair journey all about my hair and how i got it to be like this after my big chop make sure you go check out my last video remember to always be beautiful and love yourself